<laughs> All right, game number one, Cashmere versus Esam. I don't think this is going to be a bunch of checklist. Yep, we're going to go right into it. I don't know what the hell that was. And some of the the worst things to talk about in this particular matchup, uh, aside from being off stage against Pikachu, is that Pikachu is so short. He can just like duck under the grabs and just has a hard time getting a hold of him to get those combos started. Oh my goodness, yet again. Oh, oh Esam, please! Time. Can we stop? Esam, <laughs> please protect your body, man. <laughs> Like, can we just like not do this anymore, please? It's, it's a rough situation because you know you really, really want to hit Captain Falcon off stage. Every time you hit him, puts him in an even worse situation. But that command grab will go right through shield. Even some some attacks will just extend your hurt box to get grabbed by it. Yeah, a good counter pick. Even though it's a great stage for Pikachu, uh, Catcher should do a good job using that up air for damage as you just saw the amount of pressure. Just like Cloudwood with his up air, very similar fashion. One of the most important things to do against Pikachu, no matter who you're playing, use your shield button. They love to use the um. The uh, quick attack to go through you, so make sure you be shooting at all times. That hello is too dangerous. Yeah, I love how uh, you know. Oh, oh, and yeah, this is this. Is oh, yes, though. gets the tech. I was gonna say this is the situation. This is why, or at least part of the reason why the matchup is so great. And I think she just has so many options off stage and really doesn't have to worry about making it back. Wow. Uh, Captain's Falcon escape gets the catch though. Yep. Uh, I was gonna say Captain Falcon's recovery not uh, unbelievably terrible, but there's just so many ways that you can accidentally get hit or tapped off stage, and that could be it. They're doing a great job so far. Grab. Oh, went for the row read, but wrong direction. Gonna retreat towards center stage. Uh, once, once. I, I feel like once Isan makes it back to stage, is when he, you know, it's like, all right, the edge guard, you, you got it, bro. Oh, great! Take again. Uh, another by attack will keep him alive. Two for two. And that back to wow. will be enough. And Cashmere takes the first stock against Isan. Oh my goodness. Can we have a repeated history here. Oh, great! Okay, sure does he have a jump? Yes, safe in the jump. jump. Gonna have to recover high over Isan. But Isam reads the roll off the stage and gets the up throw thunder. Yeah, that was pretty heavy though, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, great pressure off stage by Isam wraps it up. Takes no damage as well. And there you go, that, that's it, man. Pichu versus Captain Falcon in a nutshell, right there. Got it? Oh, okay. Stay on stage. Okay, followed by Isam. The damage. Ooh. The damage. Ooh. Good string. Oh. Ooh. I love that. Use that back air. That, Ooh, good you know, call out with a forwarder, too. Uh, that back air is actually used to call out uh, an air dodge, but I guess it just caught him anyway, landing on the platform. He's just staying on him right now. Great roll read. He's just turning it up right now. Yeah, still trying to get him off stage. I don't, I don't, you know, that's what Easton has to do. He needs to, he, he honestly ends stocks at, you know, 0 to 20%. Just get him off stage and uh, do some future stuff. Cashmere, remember it. Uh oh. Oh, this is okay. <laughs> All right. Everyone held their breath for one moment. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Woo! <laughs> Almost to fell you. Catcher's brought it back percent wise. We're taking the lead. Yep, has the percent lead. But honestly, the percent lead doesn't matter too much in this matchup. Uh, when, you know, Falcon died at any percent, honestly, Pete can die at very low percent also. Yeah, very volatile stuff here. I think this first match, though, the winner of this first match really will uh, set precedence for the rest of the set. He hit the ground again. Having a hard time landing on the bottom platform. Area. Oh, immediate dash grab, too. Get him off stage. Up tilt. Oh, oh, very risky stuff that by East going on a force smash. Yeah, you know, as Pikachu, you gotta take risks uh, on stage at least to get those KOs. Oh, oh, the, oh we had it, but it was too early. Uh, what Isam, a risky please. man with these force smash. I, I guess he's maybe expecting a roll towards Isam or towards his body. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh trading with that back here. works out for Cashmere. Yes. And Cashmere takes game number one over Isam. Look, the crowd is going crazy, guys. If Fatality would have been, yo, if it's, uh, uh, yo, let's go, Cashmere. Fatality coming up, and I, you know, I don't think I'd want anybody else in my corner uh, as a Captain Falcon main. This is hard. It's like you're playing against Fatality and Cashmere <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and Isam just smiled to himself. He knows I, he, it, it's funny this matchup is so bad. Isam is, Isam is truly the underdog in this matchup, it seems. Yeah, we're how that worked out. <laughs> I feel like the entire crowd is behind Cashmere right now. So we saw Ethan uh, do a lot of work with those combos, catching pocket landings. But if White's gonna go here for game two. Uh, there's one. How many are we gonna get this time? Yeah, had two great text last game to avoid that offstage uh, kills. I'd rather see more jolts from Ethan though, because he has ground control. He didn't get around to it. Oh my goodness, a very unsafe forward air and shield by Cashmere. He's gonna pay for it too. Yep, gonna take a little bit of damage. Uh, I think this was a great stage challenge big for Esam. You know, Captain Falcon doesn't have many places to land, doesn't have many options in terms of air, you know, landing. Yeah. Up there? Oh, great joke. Basically, by Esam, he's trying to jump up here. 
Again, great placement. Make sure you give it to the stage safely. You know, one thing I will say, uh, on stage, this matchup really isn't too bad for the Captain Falcon. Yeah, you can still do Captain Falcon stuff on stage. Try to read that roll towards the middle. Yeah, both players go some risky smash reads. Oh, yeah, definitely. He's somehow a lot more than first game, though. Yeah, so even though this might uh, not be a great match for Captain Falcon, I don't think it's completely unwinnable, obviously. Uh, I think solid play on stage. Okay. And, uh, some mistakes by your opponent really will uh, give you the set. Oh my goodness, think of the mistakes for your opponent. Yeah. We're gonna use the shield button there, and Catcher takes the first uh, was, was that just a regular get-up or get-up attack? It looked like a get-up attack, that's what he whiffed, and that's why he wasn't able to shield. And yet again, Eason turns it around just like that, and the attack. I respect that. Yes, I'm going to retreat towards the edge. I would love, really want to see Kashmir stay away from this edge. He kind of fell into uh -oh. Isam's trap right there. Using uh -oh. his air dodge, he needs to... Oh! Needs to make, uh, wow, what pressure! Oh, God, he's probably Just making above it back. The thunder. Yo, I'm on the edge of my seat of these edge guard situations, man. You know? He barely made it back. That, that thunder almost spiked him. A few pixels down, out of a minute. Oh, get the air dodge read. Oh, my goodness. We got to watch himself, though. You know, Isam is doing all the right things off stage with Kashmir just being uh, not even one step, but maybe like a half step ahead of him off stage. Yeah. Always able to like protagonist his way back onto the <laughs> stage. Very wily stuff here. Oh, good follow there by Isam. Good smash together by, uh, by Kashmir. Oof, very scary situation. Great pivot grab and keep him towards the edge of the stage. Wow, good catch in the four there. Uh oh, good time by Oh, Isim. I thought the down air was coming, man. I was scared. Uh-oh, roll read, an air dodge. He'll make it back. Go block there by Casimir knowing. Oh, just missed the dash grab. Had to read, but a little too far. Oh, great oh. read there by Isim on the yeah, thunder. Yeah, you know, that was not at all what Casimir was expecting. That down throw, you know, in a lot of situations, you'd, like, you'd expect, oh, uh, you know, he's going to up throw, he's going to up throw, I'm going to DI and not going to air dodge, going to wait for, for the thunder. And yeah. I, I guess, like, that late thunder from Isam just kind of blew Cashmere's mind. He yeah, wasn't ready he for it Yeah, he a long time for that one. So yeah. it's one of those things, oh, I guess he won't do it. Wait for my landing. Oh, you no, know, never mind. There it is. Honestly, I feel like Isan probably even expected him to air dodge that and, you know, just kind of put pressure on him as he was landing, you know, yeah. to get him to air dodge towards the ground or something. But he just got caught by the thunder and Isan will take game number two. Uh, I expect this to be a very, very close set no matter who wins it. Yeah, very flashy set. You see it so far. Very pivotal for him to win that game too. Again, worry about those counter picks for the Ranger to set. All right, so game two, counter pick uh, for Cashmere is Smashville. Oh no, those shield grab there on the, on the uh, power shield. Very unfortunate. Yeah, it's really, really funny. Uh, it features one of the characters where some of his some of his attacks will actually shrink his hurtbox enough so the uh, dash grab from Falcon will miss. My goodness, one of the most bad matchup. Oh, yeah. I had to punish that. No down tilt there. That, that's actually one of the, this one of the attacks I was talking about. Like, landing with down air. I'm sorry, landing with back air will actually make Captain Falcon miss a dash oh, grab. Oh, good call out there by Islam. 35% only in his first thought. Just Ladies barely hit rage. And gentlemen, that is one of the reasons why this matchup is so great. Once he's off stage. All right, make it back. Oh, great space center down to by Isim. Gets the trip. That's yeah. a great combo. Yeah, and it's Cashmere. still going. 55%. We saw Cashmere looking for that short hop up air to set up maybe a knee. But wasn't able to get it because he's just hurt box. She's so, so small. Yeah. And I'm off stage at least. Up air pressure. Again, the great jolt placement. Falcon can't pressure him through those. And across the forward air smart to play Isim. We can't get show draft. Oh, DBZ moment again. Working out for, uh, for Cashmere. Great, great. Great trade, you know, 68% isn't really a big deal when you can honestly die, you know, again, that die at 80% as this character. Also, you're very, very heavy, so on stage, as long as you can keep center stage. Awesome. Uh, Pikachu with no rage, you don't have to worry about dying. The power shield there, but no punish. Oh, the down there, okay. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, Great catch it. again. So, so smart by Esam. Uh, just getting that grab release, gonna put him underneath the stage, uh, throw out a forward smash. That forward smash was completely safe. Even if it didn't get the KO, he would've been fine. He would've yeah. still had Captain Falcon on in the ledge situation. Isam goes up two to one. Yeah, Isam getting a lot of that um, hits when you go for the for the ledge. Because uh, Cashmere's going for the up tilt, but he's missed up tilt literally every single time. Mm -hmm. But Isam's getting the forward smash uh, for the punish for his end. A little coaching for Vitality. Yeah, man. And uh, it's the, the hometown hero, man. The crowd. A little bit more silent than they were in the first game. Fatality trying to give him any advice he can, you know, any advice he can help in this situation. Yeah, Eastman had some just great strings that game. Um, and that force smash came in the clutch both times off stage to get that stock. Yeah, he's been playing uh, in this game number two and this game number three. He's been playing the off stage game much better than he did in game number one. Really, really giving Kashmir a hard time. Here we go.
to smash build. Hammer for you, back to smash build, indeed. Uh, immediate jab to start out, okay. Had an extra attack, had the read an attack, a little bit too short. Oh no, off stage. Auto just. He has a jump, he has a jump. He said, oh, oh lord. What, what a catch. It, it's still so scary, man, because you know, even even if you make it back to stage, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. It's never, ever free. Oh, oh. the intimidation there. Smart by Eastman needs that thunder to go for the spike, but. Yeah, in that situation, not much Cashmere could have done. Yeah, he had to avoid him, so. He had to go for the strafe, but too far away. Oh, not like this. My god. Ethan staying on him right now. Yeah, yeah. Asam has some new confidence, I guess, uh, from these last few games. Yep. E oh my goodness! Too much confidence, Esam! Too much confidence! And I wonder if that's gonna set Kazmir up. I wonder if it's gonna give him the momentum he needs. Wow, I got Joker power there with his recovery. Yeah, things, you know, things were re looking really, really bad from that first stock, but that is exactly what Kazmir needs, and I hope, I hope Esam not gonna, you know, regret that at the end of this game. Could this be, could this, could this be the pile armor he needs? Uh oh. Oh! Oh! Caught again. Watch. Up um, tilt. I know up to the tilt. Got the punish. Down throw. What's the follow up? Esam. Yeah, nice. He's yeah, he's slow it down, make it back to stage safely. Yeah, he straight back to make sure there's a follow up from that smart stuff. Very, very close game. It's a difference right now. He's been sending it up for the dash grab. Yeah, Esam definitely slowing it down a little bit. Doesn't want to make uh, another mistake like he did. Oh, the power shield there. Catcher's waiting for it. I oh, love this. wow. They made it down to the reaction by Eastman. Yeah, it's crazy. Even that down to miss, I feel like that dash grab would have uh, would have whipped on Pikachu's tiny hurt box. Yep. There's Captain Falcon struggling to land. All right, pressure by Eastman. Oh. oh, not like this. Ain't oh, my God. <laughs> Always scary Falls to see out. Captain Falcon use his jump anytime off stage. Oh, I had the roll read, but a little too late. Oh, no, he had it there, but. Oh, and that is going to be it. Isam takes it 3-1 over Kashmir. Uh, that's a shame. Human highlight reel. We're going to have this bracket. Isam's going to move on. You know, I feel like <laughs> I feel like he had the option select in that uh, in, in that set where it's like, if I lose, you know, I played Captain Falcon versus Pikachu and I lost, man. Like, what do I tell you? But if I won, let me tell you, dog. <laughs> I just played Captain Falcon versus Pikachu. And one of those, if I win, I don't play this game. If I lose, I don't play this game. It's a classic. Uh, that was